All right, guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get Russo's sword, the blue RB battles sword. Also wanna say, if you still need the purple and green sword, I'll have tutorials for those on my channel. Anyway, in order to get the blue sword, again, I'd recommend doing this with a group of friends. It might be a little bit difficult in a public server, but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into build a boat for treasure. And then what you wanna do is fly to the side waterfall right before you go into the first area. So get like a, a jetpack or a boat or, or whatever, and then just get to this waterfall. And you can actually go into this waterfall and behind this waterfall, there's going to be a bookcase of books. Now you're going to want to click the books in this order. I'll put them up on the screen. Okay, click the books in this order. And once you do that, a secret will open. Also want to say, make sure you click them exactly in this right order, because if you don't, you're going to oof and you have to restart. So make sure you get this right. Okay, editing Creecraft in here. I just want to make this a little bit more clear. So after you put in the first set of books, there's actually a second set of books that you actually need to click. So let's go through this real quick. You want to push the yellow one right next to the blue one. You want to do the red one on the left middle shelf. Then you want to do the pink one right next to the red one. And then you want to come down here to the bottom shelf. You want to push the C in one, the, the blue in the bottom right. And then the most left one, the peach looking one on the middle left. And then the orange one on the bottom shelf. And then after that, the green one right next to the orange one. Then the black one on the right. And then after you do that, you push the purple one. And then the black one once more. And then after you do that, that's the second part of the code here. There'll be another part in this room that opens up. Hopefully that helps. Anyway, after you do this, turn to your left. There's going to be a secret uh, cannon that's going to basically blast a hole through the roof. And then there's going to be a secret door in the bottom of the floor that you can actually jump down into. And then once you go into that room, you're going to see three computer terminals and a bunch of machinery. Don't worry about any of the machinery. It's, it's literally not important. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to go up to these three computer terminals. And on these computer terminals, you're going to put in a code. Now, the first computer terminal is the one on the left hand side and you're going to make it look like this i'll just put it up on the screen make it look exactly like this here you're basically going to form an r all right just just make it look like that and then once you do that correctly it's going to turn green there's no time limit so don't worry about that and then focus on the red computer terminal on the or not the red the, the one on the right focus on the computer terminal on the right and you're going to make this one say a b so r b right so the one on the right make it say a b i'll put it up on the screen just pause the video make it look like that and you'll be good to go and then once you do this that that one will turn green and then you can focus on the one in the middle now make the one in the middle look like this i'm just going to put it up on the screen because it's kind of hard to describe so just make it look exactly like this here again you can just pause the video if you need to and then once you do that all three of them should be green all right and now that they're green what you're going to do is you're going to go down these steps all right, and you're gonna go down and there should be a portal. There'll be a little lever there. You have to pull the lever and then once you pull the lever, the portal will open. Now, warning, once you go into the portal, there's gonna be a boss fight. It's a really long boss fight and if you oof, uh, well, you may have to restart, all right? So be very, very careful on oofing. Now, this boss fight is actually relatively easy. Basically, all you have to do is dodge a bunch of stuff. There's gonna be lasers that come at you. You're gonna wanna dodge those. There's gonna be, um, you know, like a ball that gets shot at you. You're gonna wanna dodge that. The platforms are gonna go down and you have to jump from platform to platform. It's basically like a giant obby Every now and then this computer is going to basically, uh, you know, put his hand and smack his hand down. You're going to want to avoid that. Basically, just avoid everything. It's a pretty self-explanatory boss fight, really. Just try to avoid everything the best you can. Unfortunately, there's really nothing I can say to make the boss fight easier. Just avoid stuff that gets thrown at you, basically. But anyway, at the end of the boss fight, the boss is going to try and squish you with his hand. There's going to be a button that says self-destruct on it. You're going to want to make the boss hit that button. So stand on that button. His hand's going to come over. He's going to smack the button. And then once he does that, he's going to self-destruct and then once the boss self-destructs you will have the key it'll spawn in right there you're going to be able to go and get it and that's that's it that's how you get the blue key right there honestly i think the hardest part of this is just the the books in the waterfall and obviously getting into the waterfall it's probably the hardest part of this but that is how you get the blue sword right there now like i said i have tutorials on my channel already for the green and blue swords i'll have a link to those down in the pinned comment section if you're interested in those thank you guys so much for watching them make sure you subscribe because i'm going to be helping you guys get these swords on my stream tomorrow so if you need help getting them if it's not working for you whatever just pop on stream i'll help you guys out show you how to do it on there again shouldn't be a problem at all so keep using star code recruit when you're buying robux buying your robux premium helps me out helps you out by letting me buy you robux which is awesome too thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye